A lot of people have been asking me for Cure Profiles for the K1 and K1 Max. Well, I've been working on it. <laughs> and this is just some of the prints, including mechanical prints. Well, I think I finally figured it out. So let's talk about it on today's Film of Friday. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. This video is also brought to you by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. When the Creality K1 and K1 Max were released, the only slicer that really worked with it was Creality Print, and it gave decent results in fast prints. Eventually, Orca Slicer came out. It had profiles, but I cannot get as good a results with that slicer. So I finally got Cura Slicer to start working with it, and I'm getting good prints at a good speed. So let's compare it to these other two slicers. Let's focus on a lower cost K1 first because it is different than the K1 Max. I'm going to use Creality Print and I'm using version 4.3.6.6245 just for reference. I'll use their default profile which is the K1.04 nozzle at a 0.2 layer height. It's also got a 15% infill. So just some basic settings. When I slice this thing it says it will take 42 minutes and 46 seconds. Actual time was spot on at 42 minutes, but notice the walls are a little bit wavy. The sides of the Benchy look really good, very smooth, and from the top looking down on it, this thing looks very good. It's a good print. Next, I'm going to use Orca Slicer. I'm going to use their built-in profiles. Again, it's a 0.4 nozzle version for K1, 0.2 layer height, 15% infill. If I go over here to strength, scroll down, I'm not changing anything else. And now I'll just slice it and it says it's going to take 57 minutes and 59 seconds. So a lot longer than the Creality print. But here's the actual print which took 60 minutes so it's pretty accurate. But look at the front of this. Very, very rough. The sides of it are smooth. The top of it is good. But there's still that, that front nose. It just isn't looking as good and it took longer. The first thing I did when I started this is I had to make some machine profiles because they didn't exist. So I made a K1 and a K1 Max and all I really did was take an Ender 3 Pro and adjusted it. So these print head settings aren't exact but they're close. I did do my own start and NG code and then I made one for the Max with the bigger size 300, 300 by 300. So this is what I've used and it's worked pretty well. I started with my existing 0.2 profile and went to work and I've changed so many things there's no way I can cover it all. 0.2 layer height is where I ended up, 15% infill is the basics, I did bump the temperature, some flow was changed, acceleration, speed, jerk, all were modified, plus several other sub settings, timing, everything. I got it down to 45 minute estimate. Actual print time was actually less, 36 minutes, so faster than both. The cabin is straighter than Creality Print. The sides are smoother than Orca Slicer, so it's right in there matching the quality and beating it in some cases, and I did it faster. 36 minutes, almost half the speed of Orca Slicer. And real close to the quality of Creality Print, so I'm pleased with what I've accomplished so far. Next, I want to try it on the K1 Max. It's a K1 Max prints better than the K1 for me. So I started out with Creality Print again. I used their profile, the K1 Max 0.4 nozzle, 0.2 layer height, all the same settings, 42 minutes, 32 seconds to print. I used a different color filament, same PLA that I'm using. This printed in 36 minutes. So the K1 Max always seems to print faster and this is a fantastic print. I cannot really find a flaw with this print. I'm really happy with the K1 Max, so I'm really curious how good my profiles will work with it. Next, I tried Orca Slicer with their K1 Max profile, all the same settings. I sliced it. It said 57 minutes, 59 seconds. So much longer than Creality Print. 61 minutes was the actual print time, and frankly, it's just not that great. It's still got the flaw at the front. The edges of this thing just aren't as smooth. So even though it took longer, it's not as good of a print. So I want to see if I could beat this at least. So I'm back to Kira. I switched to my K1 Max machine profile. I'm using the same profile to slice it. So everything's the same there. 44 minutes. So I lost a minute. I don't know how. But actual print time was 36 minutes. The same as Creality Print. And the quality is great. There's no flaw on the front. It's smooth all the way around. Cabin straight. The top of it looks good. This is equal to what Creality Print is delivering. So I've matched this on the K1 Max.
Now I know a good told in the comments just buy a bamboo printer. So here's my X1. I sliced it in Bamboo Studio with their profile 0 0.2, 0 0.4 nozzles, same settings. Bamboo Studio says 38 minutes, 26 seconds, pretty fast. The actual print time on my machine was 43 minutes. The quality is fantastic, but this is definitely slower than the K1 Max. And the quality is comparable, almost equal to what I'm getting on the K1 Max with Creality Print and also my Cura Profiles. I did try Orca Slicer with the X1 and it seems to work better with that than it does with the K1 or K1 Max. The print time is much faster, it's 37 minutes. It still has a little flaw in the front like it had on the K1, K1 Max. It's a better print, but not as good as what you're going to get with Bamboo Studio. And not as good as what I'm seeing on the K1 Max, even with my own profiles. So there's a range of speed here, but my Cura profiles are actually on the left towards the faster side of it, and also good quality. So I think I met my objective. My Cura profiles are working really well on the K1 and K1 Max. Next, I want to try something long and flat, but also mechanical, something with detail that had to move and work. So this compliant mechanism from Mark Rober is what I'm going to try on the K1 first. I brought it into Creality Print. I'm going to use the K1 0.4 nozzle profile, 0.2 layer height, slice this thing, and it says 51 minutes. So let's print it, and here's the result. Actual print time was 51 minutes, spot on. And it works and it looks pretty good. The top surface is pretty smooth. There's no gaps. This is well done. I'm going to skip the Orca Slicer and go right to the Cura Profiles. I sliced it 76 minutes. Wow, much longer, but actual print time, 63 minutes, although still longer, and I had a few spots where I could improve the top layer. So that may be an improvement for the future. So in this case, Creality Print gave me a better print, but it still works. I'm happy with the results. The K1 Max tends to print better and faster, so let's see how it does. So with Creality Print, I sliced the same thing, and I got 49 minutes, so it's a little bit faster. Actual print time, though, was 51 minutes, so it turned out to be the same as the K1, but it looks really good. It works. So now let's try my profiles on the K1 Max. Again, I'm using all the same settings, 75 minutes, so slower. But actual print time was 57 minutes, so significantly faster than the K1, and the print quality is much better. So once again, the K1 Max likes my profiles, prints really good, and mechanically it works. So I'm happy with these results. Overall, my profiles are never done. I'm constantly updating them. But to get this far, i got to thank my sponsor, PCBWay.com. PCBWay.com is where I get my circuit boards. I just can't beat 10 boards for $5 plus shipping. And I've actually used their assembly services for some prototypes. Worked fantastic. And they also have CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding. So if you ever get serious with your 3D prints and you want to move to injection molding, check out PCBWay.com. They offer so much, it's worth checking them out if you're serious about making things pcbway.com. Check them out today. This took a lot of my time to get to this point, so I'm releasing it as a beta release at the link in the description below to thangs.com. There you can download it, try it out, and give me your feedback. Eventually I'm going to have a full set of profiles for these machines. Those will be on Patreon or Thangs membership, so you'd have to be a member there to get the full set. But at least you can download this and maybe use it as a starting point to make profiles of your own. This is actually the most challenging set of profiles I've ever built. It's taken me so much time, and I still think I can improve it. But at least now I have profiles for the K1 and K1 Max, so I can use all the features in Cura. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos popping up. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon is one way, or a membership at Thangs.com. And if nothing else, click on that Filament Friday logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.